Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Keto Blogging. I am Abhishek Padhi and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your blog page full width in your blogger website. So making the blog page full width gives you more cleaner look and more modern look. So you can remove all these clutters and keep it simple. So for this, we are going to use custom CSS code to do that. So for this, make sure to take a backup of your theme first. So you can go to theme and click on backup so that it will download a XML file. Later, you can use that XML file to restore your blogger website. So I have already made a video on how to take backup in blogger website. So you can reference that video as well. So to make this block page full width, we need to right click on it and click on inspect here and make sure to set it as responsive. Let's increase the width here. So let me click on here and let's increase the width. Now we need to select the sidebar element. So let me click on sidebar. So as you can see, this is the main flex uh, content wrapper and this is the container. And after that we have main. So I can click on this arrow and then we have the sidebar. Just click on the sidebar like sidebar wrapper. Click on here and I can set it like display none. Now, as you can see, the sidebar is now removed. Now I need to see how it looks. So as you can see, it is showing without sidebar, but we need to make the content center align. So for this, let's right click on it and click on inspect. Now you need to select the main container here. So let's scroll up and this is the main section. And this is the main wrapper here with less than main. Now here you need to select the width. So as you can see, the width is calculated 100% minus 320 pixel. So let me change that to 100% minus 0 pixel. And let's see how it looks. So this is how it. So in this way, we can make the content full width. And if you want a narrow width layout, then you can also do that. So for this, let's right click on it. Click on inspect and let's select the main element here this is the main wrapper and then you can select the width so let's say you want to display 250 pixel width now we need to select the main section here so this is the main section we need to select the deep class with the container so you need to select the container which contain both main section and the sidebar so this is the main container here so let's click on plus and let me add display flex here like this and i can make it justify center like this all right now we need to copy this rule and just go to blogger theme let's click on edit html now i can scroll down to the end of the css code so here you will find the closing B skin tag so you can paste the code just before that and we need to also hide the sidebar so let's select the sidebar element here so let me click on this arrow and this is the sidebar sidebar wrapper let me find that CSS code so I will type control plus F search for it and let's hit enter again and here it is sidebar wrapper so we need to add display none to hide the sidebar and let me click on save now it will hide the sidebar from the block page and we can make the content center align like this so let me refresh it and let's check if it is working or not all right as you can see the content is now center aligned and everything looks clean and you can easily restore the sidebar if you want so for this just right click on it click on inspect and just search for the sidebar element so this is the main section and this is the sidebar and you can remove the display none here like this now we need to select the deep container and you can remove the display flex and justify center element here like this to restore it back or you can use the theme backup file to restore your website if you want so this is how you can 
hide the sidebar and make the content center align so you need a little bit of css code and you need to inspect the element and find the sidebar element and make display none and then you need to select the container which contains both main section and the sidebar and make the display flex and make the aligns content to center align item to center so if you still have doubt you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to join our telegram group where you can share your screenshot and share your issues and we will try to solve that as soon as possible and if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button Thank you.